Hey, what is going on guys, gals, aliens, and DJ freaks? Welcome back to the channel. So we are going to get right into it guys because Bitcoin is breaking out currently as we speak right now. It was breaking out last night during the Asian market opens. We have broken through key resistance of 69,000 Finally, guys, we have had that Grim Reaper hit that $69,000 Bitcoin door knocking on it for the past couple of weeks, even for the past couple of months. And now finally, you can see that we have broken out. We have this reverse inverse head and shoulders pattern that broke through the neckline, which was at 66000 and then we finally broke through the through the top of the resistance point, which was at 69.6. Now we're sitting at $71,427. Our trades are looking really good. Our Bitcoin trade is up 30%, $152 in profit. We got Litecoin up 42% in profit. <clears throat> we have the Pepe trade up 105% in profit. And we also have the Mines of Delarnia trade up $181 in profit. So... What we're looking at right now across the whole market is we're seeing the the alts uh, start to kind of start to start to pick up. Uh, Bitcoin is obviously having the the main dominance right now. If you're looking at the altcoins, you can see that we have uh, things like Mog, Popcat, Dogecoin. Um, you got you got you got Sui, you got Hex up, you have Brett. A lot of these strong altcoins are starting to come back. You got Jasmine, you got Say. Um, a lot of these are doing really well. Athena ENA is doing really well. So with this Bitcoin pump, we're going to start seeing some action on these altcoins. And I want to mention about the dominance because the Bitcoin dominance is what we have to start to look at. And we're going to bring our chart over here. And I hope you guys can really, really understand this. And we're going to break it down really quick for you. We're just going to pull up the dominance. Now, look, the dominance is starting to pump up to past 60%. Once Bitcoin dominance starts to hit to 60 to uh, past 60%, we're going to get that nice Bitcoin pump. And then we're going to start to see the dominance, I think, in Ethereum, obviously start to go up as well once we get the downtrend of the Bitcoin dominance. And then once we get the dominance of Ethereum way back up into the 14 and the uh, the 18% area of dominance where we had it in the previous run in June, March, in this area right here, that's when we're going to see the altcoins do some freaking damage, guys. Now, for instance, now when we start to see that Ethereum pump, since we're talking about Ethereum, once we see that Ethereum pump, we're going to see things like can do Inu. We're going to see things like Metis. We're going to see things like Pepe do really well. We're going to see things... Uh, I think like Brett are going to do very well. I think Shiba Inu is due for another breakout of the descending um, uh, bull, bull flag wedge here. Uh, Dogecoin is, is showing massive strength going over 16 cents. And now we are starting to see this market really, really pick up. And if you can see here, we have our banana <laughs> ready to go. We got that banana ready to go, guys. So I hope you guys are, um, you know, having some fun in these markets right now. This is the most important time of a bull market when we start to get in the bull run banana zone. And where that zone is, is historically when we have the halvings, we get into that zone about six, the last six months of the halving year. So if we even repeat a fraction, Fractal 2 or Fractal 3 pattern, which is the Fractal 2 of the uh, 2016 run and then the Fractal 3 of the 2020 run. And if we even get near those prices, that means we will see a true Bitcoin breakout to new all-time highs and we're going to see it going past 80K here in the short term. So what are we doing with this? Well, we're trading it because how can you not be in a bullish trade right now when all of these metrics and all of these factors are starting to line up together? So we're trying to take advantage of this. We're taking advantage of these movements and we're making sure we are positioned and also uh, in the alt coins as well as Bitcoin. Uh, if you want to know what the Solana trade is looking like, the Solana trade, we got in an entry at 176, take profits at $200. And I think Solana is on its way to be to be crushing that $200 resistance and to bring it up back to its all time high of $250. Now guys, uh, uh, just last night, 
if you caught my live stream, we were breaking down a portfolio that is a simple strat strategic portfolio to go into 2025. And I suggest you guys go back and watch that live stream, but we, we're going to keep up with this portfolio. We are going to, um, basically we started, started it from four, 4,000 to $5,000 of DCA and creating a portfolio in this market that I think is going to perform very, very well. Now it adds Bitcoin, Ethereum, you got Pepe, you got STG, you got some Solana, you got the meme coins, the strong meme coins, uh, you got AVAX, Dogecoin, you got some crypto gaming tokens in here like Medieval Empires and Nakamoto Games, you got the Oracle stuff, Chainlink, you have um, you have the the layer the layer ones, altcoins like like Litecoin, and also some other options as well and we're gonna really um uh keep track of this portfolio and make sure you guys are knowing how well this is performing over the next six months i think in the next six months this could easily say 100k or more with the momentum and the type of narrative and projects that we have picked for this particular portfolio so if you're new <clears throat> and you're wanting to um, kind of get an idea of how to build a starter portfolio, track it on this channel, guys. And uh, I think we're going to have some fun. And you'd be pleasantly surprised at, at having patience and picking strong narratives and how that can help you outperform everyone. All right, guys. So I really hope you're feeling the action here now. I hope you're really feeling this action because it is, it's, uh, it's it's get it's getting it's getting frothy. It's getting juicy, guys. So, uh, yeah, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.